Hi guys, Remagmod now here, and today I've got a little bit of news for you. Well, actually, a lot. This is a pretty big update. Um, it's been a short while since I last posted a video on this channel, and I apologize for that. Uh, all I can say is school struck again. Um, anyways, I'm gonna return to this because this is important. All right, let's get into this. Uh, new brawler, Eve, who's chromatic, so you get them, you get her from the brawl pass. I will make another video about her, so stay. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Uh, new brawl pass called the Biodome. That's the new season. New skins. All right, we got Firefly Rico tier one in brawl pass tier one. Spike Eve in brawl pass tier seventy. Waspo in Power League. Lion Ball in Club League. And uh, Ivy Bell, Mr. Fly, Mantis Rosa, Corrupted Sprout, Doctor Edgar, Beetle Meg, and Bunny Grot, as well as True Silver and Cold skins for Sprout, Surge, Ruffs, and Corner Ruffs and Buzz. Skin voice effects updates for Mecha Paladin Surge and Amadilla Vegas, that's pretty nice. Now, exclusive skins. Okay, so the way this works is that skins from the Brawl, from, from Brawl Pass and Power League uh, will, be, will, will be moved to the archive uh, after the season ends and become available one year, one year after their original release uh, in, in limited exclusive offers. Uh, seasonal skins will also be moved to the archive um, and then resurface every so often, so that's pretty nice. Um, but uh, con the first content that is affected by this is this season. Uh, previous skin skins from previous seasons will be affected by this, so they'll remain exclusive. And free exclusive skins won't, won't become possible in, in, again in the future. So basically, if, if a skin is up for free, get it. You, you, uh, after, uh, if, if you run out of time, you won't be able to get that skin again. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Okay, new, new pins. Uh, feel free to pause the video if you, if you want to check this stuff out. All right, uh, two challenges: Lant Lantern Brawl Challenge um, and the Easter Challenge. Okay, two new game modes. First of all, we, uh, both three three v three. Uh, we got wi first of all, we got Wipeout, which has a two minute timer, as all as all timed modes do. And essentially, it's basically a combination of Bounty and Knockout. Um, the first team to get eight kills wins. So yeah, it's a, it's a pretty short game mode. And then you got Payload. So Two teams have a payload, or I'm, which I'm just going to call a carriage, and both carriages have like a track, and the carriages have like a little circle around them. So if you stand in the in the circle of your carriage, the carriage starts moving, uh, and if you stand in the circle of your opponent's carriage, the opponent the it, it will stop moving. So basically, you have to well, as soon as you get out of the circle and the opponent gets in, then then the carriage will start moving, and the first carriage to get to the end of its track is the winner. So yeah. Uh, game room rotation changes. The main important part of this is that Siege is not in the rotation anymore. Uh, it's still in friendly rooms and in map makers, so don't worry, it's not going anywhere. Um, Showdown has a bigger game mode banner, which you'll, you'll uh, be able to see in future Brawl Stars videos. Uh, Super City Rampage has been removed. Knockout, has been, Knockout is now in map maker. Basketball re and returns as a seasonal mode, and duels uh, uh, will, become, will become seasonal. Alright, now balance changes. This is the important stuff, so listen carefully here. First of all, we've got the buffs. Mr. P's Handle with Care Star Power, which basically um, balances his shots automatically, whereas before, you know, it would bounce only if it hits a wall, a, a, an object. Now it, it always bounces, even if it doesn't hit an object. Um, so that Star Power ha is now a baseline effect. And the new Handle with Care is that every four, four seconds, the next briefcase deals, the next attack, rather, deals 40% more damage after bouncing. Revolving door has been reworked, so now spawners have twenty percent more health and deal thirty percent more damage. Bro Brock's incendiary star power, which before was um, a, s a small little a uh, area of fire, would uh, generate uh, after each rocket explodes. That is now a baseline effect. So his new star power is Brock's sup super fires forty four percent more rockets. Uh, Jackie's hardy hat hardy hat star power uh, has been buffed by five percent. From fifteen to twenty percent reduction, B B's honeycomb star power uh, has been buffed by ten percent from twenty to thirty percent uh, reduction, damage damage reduction. Gale, Gale's blustery blow that's harder to say than you think. Um, star power has been has been buffed from one one to one and a half second stun, by, so that's half a second. Wheel of space damage has been has has been increased by forty from two hundred twenty to two hundred sixty at, at at power level one. Colonel ruffs has uh, has also been. Uh, uh, had their base damage increase from 500 to 560. Max uh, also uh, da base damage from 300 to 340. And healthcare has been reworked. So now 
passively regenerate you regenerate more health passively um and depending on the gear, the level of the gear, that's a 30% extra health, 40 or 50%. Alright, now the nerfs. Okay, so Grom's projectile speed is now constant. Um, so, before, if you threw a projectile really far away, um, it would take a while to la land on the ground, but if you threw it really close to you, it would, you know, land on the ground instantly. But now, it, al it always flies around, it flies in the air for a, for a, for a couple seconds before landing. Uh, no matter how far you throw it, it will always be the same. And super super uh, range has been decreased from twenty five to seventeen, which means that little projectiles that split that the little splits of the attack uh, travel le uh, f uh, less distance. And supercharge now takes six hits, which is kind of a buff, but it's more but it's more of a bug fix since you know just like you know there was always that one little bit of super that remain remained to be charged, uh, and that and that's and uh, which which kept coming and coming up that you know that bug happened once, then it happened again, and you know now it's been fixed. So that's pretty good. Uh, Tara's base damage has been nerfed from four sixty to four forty. Daryl's uh, shield, when he rolls, has been de has been decreased from ninety ninety percent to fifty percent damage reduction. And oh, that's it. All right, new environment, the biodome, and ten new second gadgets. Okay, Colette's new new gadget, Gotcha, um, in uh, works like this. So like for for the next five seconds, every shot that Colette land lands uh, heals her herself heals her for eighty percent of the damage. That's if you land the shots, so there's no healing if you, if you don't, you know, land a shot. Uh, Lo Lola's new gadget is stun double in which Lola and her ego switch places and Lola recovers 350 health. Um, so of course, a super is required for this. Super needs to be active. BB's BB's extra sticky gadget. Um, it works like so. Her next super, uh, slows down enemies if hit for two seconds. M's new gadget is Acid Spray, in which her next attack passes through walls but deals 20% less damage. Grom's new gadget is Radio Check, in which Grom's next attack throws three attacks in rapid succession rather than just one. By Byron's next attack is... Uh, By Byron's new gadget, full treatment. Uh, uh, Grom's called Radio Check, by the way. Uh, well, uh, did I say that? I don't know. Uh, anyways, uh, Byron's new gadget, in, um, her next, his next attack uh, shoots three small darts in a, in a cone shape. But they rather than just one uh, in a line, inst but they deal twenty percent less damage and forty percent less healing. Uh, Squeak's new gadget residue, um, his next attack, get, allows en enemies sight into bushes for fifteen seconds. Bell Bell's new gadget is reverse polarity, in which her next attack bounces off walls like a Rico attack. Fa Fang's new gadget is roundhouse roundhouse kick, which is which is kind of similar to a combo spinner, in which you know he spins round and enemy and uh, any he enemies he hits. Uh, they start. They get stunned for one second, and Ash's new gadget is Ron Banana, in which he loses twenty percent of his health, but instantly gains fifty percent range, and that has been changed, um, because to now uh, it's it's been nerfed, so it he, he loses forty percent, uh, health and gains forty percent range. All right, Power League, um, na names are hidden for for opponents in Mythic One and above. Um, you know this was previously seen. Names were hidden in Masters. For both Power League and Club League, uh, losing a Power, Power League match one to two, uh, you you lose less, um, uh, I don't know progress. I guess what uh, is what it's called, rather than you know, uh, how how it was where you would you would always lose a ton of progress. So if you, you so it gives it basically gives you you more incentive to actually try, and winning two nil uh, results in a bigger gain uh, of progress. So again, more incentive to actually try, and uh, as well as two new icons as always. All right, clubs and club league. So day three of club league has six sticks instead of four, and points gained on that day are, are increased by fifty percent. So it's, so it's day three is now like a special day. Uh, power points are now purchasable, uh, uh, infinitely purchasable, just like coin, just like coins. Whereas previously you knew you could only purchase purchase them once, which is great for progression. Uh, a president, um, the club president is is rotated after the is automatically rotated after the club president after the previous club president is inactive for at least two weeks, um, instead of just one um the club is is immediately going to onto one person it's rotated between the members, and uh, until the new club until the pre the previous club president it becomes goes back online, and members who are left or kicked from a club during a season um are eligible for reward based on their contribution before they were kicked, so after you kicked uh you kicked, you can't make you know. You, you, you won't get any more rewards than what you have co already contributed. Alright, for first time users, 
Um, the first mode is now so Solo Showdown and Gem Grab, which I personally think is a great change. Um, this affects the early game mode unlock, unlock, so, you know, you go from Showdown to Gem Grab, whereas previously it was the other way around. And also Trophy Road Progression is, is affected, so um, but you get 10 trophies, 10 trophies instead of 8 per win. Uh, Nita now requires ten. Uh, now requires fifteen trophies to unlock instead of ten, and the gems in the in the very, in the tutorial have been changed to power cubes. Um, other other things, you know, wild card power points are now available from boxes. Where this was previously exclusive in Club League, but now it's available in boxes. And basically, how it works is that if you get wild card power points after the, after you finished opening up the box, um, you get to choose which brawler you can you can apply the uh, the cards uh, the power points to, which again is. Great for progression, uh, and this starts dropping at a ten percent chance per box after the play after you have at least sixteen brawlers. All right, uh, auto ban and pick for friendly power matches. Okay, so the game will, will automatically ban and pick brawlers for play players if they don't react in time, which means that you could you know you could um, end up have being uh, uh, a great brawler could end up being banned and a you you could end up having to having to play a really terrible brawler. Uh, but this is only in friendly power matches, not in, you know, actual power matches. Uh, a couple of new several regions and a couple of new bug fixes. So, uh, yeah, that's about every th everything there is to say. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, all the YouTuber stuff. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!